The Bible says, greater is he who is in you than he who is of this world. That means that no matter what the situation looks like, no matter the mountain you may be facing, no matter the giant that stands before you, no matter the valley, no matter what the circumstance looks like, there is a power that resides within you that is greater than anything you can face in this life. Jesus Christ has already given you the victory. You have overcoming power within you. And some of you may feel like, I don't see it. I don't feel it. But I want you to know that he is moving and he is operating in your life, whether you see it or feel it. I want to encourage you to keep on pushing through. Like the woman with the issue of blood, she pressed through. She pressed through the crowd just to touch the garment of Jesus Christ and she was made whole. I want you to keep on praying. I want you to keep on fasting. I want you to keep on worshiping and keep on getting into his word because you may not see the fruit overnight. It's the same way a farmer who sows seed doesn't see the harvest overnight. The same way a person who wants to get in shape and go to the gym, they don't begin to get transformed overnight. It's a process of you praying, a process of you worshiping, and a process of you getting into his word so that the fruit of his spirit will be produced within your life. And when you face those situations, when you face those storms, when you face those giants and those mountains that stand before you, you know that there is a power within you to overcome. There is a power within you to conquer anything that you face. God is for you, not against you. And greater is he who lives in you than he who lives in this world.